Hey folks, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is uh, multiply with 1 and 0. So this is the last lesson in this chapter, so um, uh, we have a test coming up soon. So uh, our essential question is, what happens when we multiply uh, a number by 0 or 1? So we have a few examples in this lesson right here. So Steve sees uh, four bird baths. Each bird bath uh, has two birds in it. So what multiplication sentence tells how many birds there are? Okay, so we've done these in several ways right here. Well, basically, here's a bird right there, a little yellow one, and here's a blue bird right here. So there's two birds in each one. So there are four groups of two, so we'd represent that as four times two, and there would give us eight birds. You remember doing that in one of the last lessons? So one bird flies away from each bird bath. So here's our picture over here. So one bird flies away right here. So here's the picture below. So there's only one left. So it's the yellow guy in each one right here. So uh, what multiplication sentence shows the total number of birds uh, now? So there's four groups of one. So this would be four times one, which um, uh, the number of... Uh, a bird bass is four. The number of birds in each bath is one. And so how many birds do we see? One, two, three, four. So four times one equals four. Okay, so that's going to be one of our magic formulas here shortly. And you guys probably already know the answer to that. So now the other bird uh, flies away from each of the bird baths. So there's our bird bath. So what multiplication shows the total number of birds in this bird bath now? Well, we still have four bird baths, you guys. Uh, uh, but there's no, uh, no birds in each bath, so, so it would be 4 times 0 equals 0 because there's 0 birds left right there, okay? So the total number of birds is still 0. So how, many, uh, how do the bird bass look now? Well, golly, how do these bird bass look? Well, they look empty to me. I don't know what else to say about that except they just look plain old empty. So, hey, what if there, uh, there were 5 bird bass with 0 birds in each of them? What would be the product? Well, we'd still get zero birds right there. It'd still be, uh, there's five bird bass, but none of them have birds in it. So it would still be zero because there's zero birds in any of these bird bass. So five times zero also equals zero. In fact, any number times zero will be zero. Okay, so here's another problem. So Ginger has two pages of bird stickers. Okay, so here's one page right here. And so, but she has two pages. There are four stickers on each page. So how many stickers does she have in all? Well, we know four plus four equals eight. Or we can think of uh, there's two pages. So for two pages, so two pages of four stickers, two times four is also going to equal eight. Two groups of four equals eight. Remember, two or four plus four is eight. So Ginger has eight stickers right there. Okay. So two times four equals eight. 2 times 4 is the same as 4 plus 4. Suppose Ginger uses one page of stickers, so she only has one page left. So what fact uh, uh, shows how many stickers are left? Okay, well here, this 2 represented for how many pages she had for 4 stickers. So she only has one page left, so this is going to be 1 times 4, and that's going to give us uh, uh, 4 uh, uh, four stickers. Sorry, brain freeze right there. Four stickers also, so Ginger's going to have four stickers left right there. Okay, so I'll just move that up. Okay, now Ginger uses the rest of her stickers. So what fact shows how many stickers Ginger has left? Well, how many pages does she have left? Okay, so there's zero group. There's zero pages left. And uh, so there's zero groups of four. Well, zero groups of four just have, would be zero, so she would have zero stickers left. Okay, you getting the idea on this? So what does each number in 0 times 4 tell us? Well, it just means that there are 0 groups of 4, or just 0. There's 0 uh, stickers left right there. So, so any number, uh, uh, a 0 in a multiplication sentence means 0 groups, or 0 things in a group. So the product is always going to be 0. Any number times 0 equals 0. Hey, what pattern do you see when we multiply numbers uh, with 1 as a factor? So think of 1 times 2 equals 2, or 1 times 3 equals 3, or 1 times 4 equals 4. Any number times 1 just equals, um, the product is always the number that's being multiplied by 1. So what this is called the identity property, you guys. The identity property states that the product of any number and 1 is that number. So 9 times 1 equals 9, 1 times 9 equals 9. 5 times 1 equals 5, 1 times 5 equals 5, so any number times 1 is just that number. So what pattern did we see when we multiplied a number with 0? Remember, it always gave us 0, so 0 times 1 equals 0, 0 times 5 equals 0, 0 times 2 also equals 0. So the product uh, is always 0 when we multiply by 0, okay? So the zero property of multiplication 
just states that the product of zero and any number is zero no matter what right there okay hey if you guys can you guys have some time would you click like on this video thanks a bunch take care